Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm a sophomore from Watertown, South Dakota, and I went to St. Martin's Lutheran Church in Watertown, South Dakota. The glory of the Lord covered Mount Sinai. When Moses went up from the mountain, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain, and on the seventh day the Lord called to Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain. Exodus 24, verses 15 through 17. Fires consumed the hills and mountainsides. Smoke traveled for miles. It lasted for days. Millions looked on in fear. This is the scene of my childhood in San Diego in 2007. Wildfires that lit up the night sky could be seen from the highways as millions of acres of land and homes were consumed by fire. Destruction, devastation, and death were the words repeated on the radio and news channels. These fires were an amazing sight for the memory of a young child, a lasting memory. We find a similar mountainside scene in Exodus. The Israelites were led out of Egypt in a fantastic fashion and were now journeying to their promised land. The Lord had stopped them at Mount Sinai. This is where he would establish his covenant with his people. Moses is now to come up this mountain covered by the glory of the Lord. To the Israelites, the glory looked like a consuming fire. In this fire, the Lord was confirming his covenant with Moses, the great mediator for his people. Israel was to obey all the laws he gave through this mediator, Moses. If they didn't, sacrifice was necessary. The covenant set apart by the Lord set apart Israel through his great mediator, Moses, and the people saw this consuming fire as the glory of the Lord. But one day, the full and frequent use of the glory would be set aside the greater mediator would take on human flesh. Our all-consuming sin would be placed on him. Jesus, our mediator, would fulfill the covenant given to Moses so that destruction, devastation, and death would be done. His necessary sacrifice and his glory covered all of our sins. The new covenant is confirmed for us, our everlasting gift. The glory of the Lord now shines in our new hearts. We are consumed by the fire and zeal to spread that message this Advent season. We pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for your glory. We give thanks to you for your mighty acts. Defend us from the sin that tries to consume our lives. Give us faith that is consumed by your glory, your love, and your word. Amen. Have a great Advent season.